Life showed to all the same familiar face. She has now recognized everybody all round like that, you see. Same. Her acts followed the old unhearted round. Because the ancient mother has clustered back, you see. That is important. She spoke the words that she was wont to speak. The way she was speaking earlier, she is as if speaking the same manner. But they are not really the same. There is some other kind of a content in her voice, in her speech, in her communication. She spoke the words that she was wont to speak and did the things that she had always done, sweeping the floor pulling the water from the well or whatever household thing that they, she is doing all those things, but with a different consciousness now altogether. You see. Her eyes looked out on us unchanging face, around a soul's muteness all moot as of old, a vacant consciousness washed from within, vacant the consciousness, because there is nothing now of her. It is that which is watching. See, it's a very paradoxical thing. Vacant consciousness watching. <laughs> Empty of all, but bare reality. That is the vacancy. That is the nirvana. What is present there is only the reality, is only the absolute. In fact, all that belongs to this creation that has now got left out totally. And what is present is the true reality. The way the true reality will look at this world, at this creation, it is that reality now which is seeing, which Savitri is possessing and through which she is seeing everything around. You see. There was no will behind the word and act. She has no more will of her own now. You have told me to do this, I will do what you want me to do. It's not that I am going to will and act, you see. There was no will behind word and act. No thought formed in her brain to guide the speech. An impersonal emptiness walked and spoke in her. See again, impersonal emptiness. See, again that nirvana is continuing in you know, that way. Impersonal emptiness walked and spoke in her. See, now this is a different kind of a language, different kind of an expression. Now, an ordinary person, a mental being, will say, what is this nonsense? How can emptiness speak? <laughs> and how can emptiness become impersonal? See, so the mystic poetry, mystic language, has a different kind of a connotation, you see. So if you give this thing to a college professor, he will say it's all rubbish, <laughs> you see. An impersonal emptiness walked and spoke in her. Something perhaps unfelt, unseen, unknown, guarded the body for its future world. Why is Savitri present now in that physical form? Everything has gone, she is empty. Still, Savitri is there for what purpose? Because something is guarding that physical form of Savitri. There is a certain purpose that Savitri should be there for that purpose. Or nature moved in her own stream of foes. Perhaps she both made conscious in her breast the miraculous Nahil that wonderful nirvana, it is that which is now she is carrying in her breast, in her bosom. But as she bore, made conscious in her breast, the miracle. She has become conscious of that nirvana and it is that nirvana she is bearing. Origin of our souls, it is from there our souls have come. And souls as some of the vast, vast event, it is from that all these moments take place here, you see. The womb and gay of thought, a cipher of God. That is thing, that miraculous nirvana, miraculous nahil nirvana, that is a cipher of God. Shunya of God, nothing of God. That miraculous nahil is 
سائفر آف گاڈ اے زیرو سرکل آف بینگس ٹوٹیلٹی سی از اگین کلیریفائنگ واٹ دیٹ مین یو سی اٹ یوز ہر اسپیچ اٹ از دیٹ ناہیل دیٹ سائفر آف گاڈ ہو از یوزنگ دی ورڈس آف ساوتری فار اس پرپز اٹ یوز ہر اسپیچ اینڈ ایکٹیڈ ان ہر ایکٹس اٹ واز بیوٹی in her limbs, life in her breath. The original mystery wore her human face. That is the mystery. That's the original mystery. How it can happen like that at all? That's it. It's indescribable. We cannot explain how the total reality which has no form, no utterance, no voice, no expression can start speaking and assuming form. That is the mystery. and it is that mystery now which is assuming that human face of savitri does for she lost within to separate self her mortal ego perished in god's night her mortal ego obviously now nothing of mortal remains in savitri perished in god's night what is god's night god's night means all our faculties of cognition of understanding of comprehension of realizing things they have become blank it is so bright that you cannot see it is so beautiful that you cannot look at it you cannot look at it therefore it's kind of a night Therefore, it's kind of a night, you see. That is God's night. So marvelous that you cannot imagine. Our faculties of cognition, of understanding, of grasp, they are helpless there. They cannot see things. You are seeing somebody very beautiful, but you cannot still see him. So that is a kind of a night for us. It's a very powerful phrase, God's night, you see. means all our faculties instrumental faculties born of this nature they have become totally helpless to see things to understand things to grasp things only a body was left the ego shell left load may drift and foam of the world sea a sea of dream watched by a motionless sun a sea of dream what a phrase a sea or dream watched by a motionless sense a sense which is not moving it cannot move it is that sense which is seeing the whole thing in a figure of unreal reality again a paradoxical unreal reality because you cannot really grasp anything at all you see and impersonal foresight again impersonal see because she is no more now person impersonal foresight could already see in the unthinking knowledge of the spirit even now is seem night done inevitable the individual die the cosmos pass you are no more there now the cosmos is no more there now you see nothing this gone the transcendently grew a bit so when everything has gone your faculty even the supreme the transcendent that also becomes a myth it's not there myth the holy ghost without father and son so is only the spirit without the father and the son or a substrate of what once had been being that never will to bear a world being that never will to bear a world the original non manifest which has not brought out anything it is that now which is become the substratum the basis the foundation restored its original loneliness impassive so silent intangible you can see that that is the god's night 
that is god's night you see you can see that. yet all was not extend in this deep loss it is of course a loss because you can't see but still nothing is lost so to say the being traveled not towards nothing is it is an experience for something it is a realization for something there was some high surpassing secrecy what is that that is kept as a secret from you you are passing through but what that is kept as a secret for you and when she sat alone with satyavan see he is now coming back to savitri in the tangible world see and when she sat alone she all these things are happening in the night when they are together satyavan is still asleep but savitri is in the world of trance and doing yoga you see and when she sat alone with satyavan her moves mind with his a search and straw so that is the difference now between yogic savitri and human satyavan that is the difference between yogic savitri and human satyavan yogic savitri her mind is absolutely calm silent mind moveless nothing happen whereas the human mind satyavan's mind is hunting for this for that for that noisy all the while you see in the hush of a profound and intimate night she turned the face of a very voiceless truth so savitri what is her concern what is the truth behind it why the truth is not speaking she is turning to us that hid in the dumb recesses of the heart or waiting beyond the last peak climbed by thought and see in itself is seeing the struggling world and prompts our quest but cares not to be found out of the distant vast came a reply when savitri is calm then she gets some kind of a response what should happen now next something unknown unreached inscrutable sent down the messages of bodiless light so savitri is receiving messages of bodiless light it is no form no structure those messages came to savitri cast lightning flashes of a thought not ours so that something is sending thoughts which we cannot think at all about them crossing the immobile silence of our mind in its might of irresponsible sovereignty what a phrase irresponsible sovereignty <laughs> a sovereignty which has no sense of responsibility she is like that you see she is that might have irresponsible sovereignty he sees on speech to give those flamings a shape may it be the heart of wisdom in a word and spoke in mortal things to mortal lips savitri is it is that now we speak to her. that is the irresponsible sovereignty cast lightning flashes of a thought not of us in its might of irresponsible sovereignty <laughs> it has no responsibility at all it doesn't care and yet is the king sovereign <clears throat> or so that is what she is listening the voices in her immobile thought from out from a supreme soul or else from around or listening to the sages of the woods there are rishis there are sages there are accomplished souls in the hermitages there are around they will have conversation they will have dialogue they will have, they will exchange their notes of spiritual realizations they will converse with each other yes this is that this is like that you see or listening to the sages of the world in question and in answer broke from her strange revealings impossible to men they were wondering what is savitri talking about where is she getting that knowledge how is that knowledge has come to her all the sages are wondering at savitri in question and in answer 
broke from her high strange revealing impossible to men something or someone secret and remote took hold of her body for his mystic use it is not savitri who speaking somebody has taken possession of her and it is that someone who is speaking through her took hold of her body for his mystic use her mouth was sees to channel in the fable truths knowledge unthinkable found and utterance well this is exactly what we have in the mother's questions and answers when in the wednesday class in the playground in the ashram she used to speak it is this kind of a thing she was speaking the mother and she says that look i am there but i see who is speaking through me sheer when she said that he has taken possession of her to speak out in fact that is why you have got that true knowledge in all her utterances whatever comes because she had totally surrendered herself to the lord and the lord was now working through her constantly she had annulled herself totally to the will of god took hold of her body for his mystic use her mouth was seized to channel ineffable truths her knowledge unthinkable found an utterance this is absolutely the kind of a description which applies to the mothers classes antitian all the antitians are that perhaps later on we can extend this thing to the agenda to the agenda it is so is it so here savitri is speaking to the rishis and they are wondering what savitri is talking of we have done such sadhana such tapasya and we are not able to get anything of that but savitri is now constantly speaking astonished when new enlightenment they were astonished for this new light which is invaded by a streak of the absolute they marveled at her for she seemed to know what they had only glimpsed at times afar <laughs> they saw something far away but now she is speaking as if she was she's so familiar with them is it now this is something very beautiful also astonished by a new enlightenment invaded by a streak of the absolute it is coming straight from there they marveled at her they those rishis those tapaswins were there in the forest at that time they were ready souls i don't know whether there were any of that kind present in the mothers class children are there people are there sadhus are there but they marveled at her with that kind of a realization that feeling that perception which they had difficult to say you see our collectivity here has not really gone to that stage of they marveled we are all sitting in the playground mother is talking and all that all those things are happening we are wondering oh what beautiful is it is it asking questions and what not but what she is speaking they marvel their form she is getting that knowledge nobody has that perception at all in the playground so these are the sage and rich these yeah but then exactly yeah but we are all we are all, <laughs> yeah you see yeah you see they are rishis and sages they have done tapasya they have done sadhana she in other words to be really close to the mother to really get something from her of that kind 
you have to prepare yourself in a different manner you have to prepare yourself so that is the greatness of these people we are not really prepared ourselves to receive anything from the mother 